ABC special election coverage coming to you from Tswani at the IEC Results Centre. Yes, it's an exciting time ahead, of course, as we start counting down to Wednesday when, uh, well, voting gets underway here in South Africa's municipal elections 2016. Of course, before that, we've got two days of special votes coming up. We just uh, started at 8 a.m. this morning. Yeah, we yeah. see those uh, those like us that are working away from home. Myself We're the and special Des. ones. We're the special <laughs> ones having to cast the special votes over the next couple of days. But matters are starting to pick up, excitement starting to build. It's, it's starting to get you a can feel real feel in, in the, the air. air. Yes, yeah, yes. absolutely. And as we continue, in 2009, Mwesha in in Limpopo was identified as one of the poorest villages in South Africa. It lacked basic services such as water, electricity, a clinic, proper roads, and adequate housing. Unemployment and poverty were rife. President Jacob Zuma announced in his State of the Nation address that Mwesha was declared a pilot project under the Comprehensive Rural Development Program to become an example for how to solve rural problems. Philip van der Waalt visited the village to find out how many of those promises were kept. Muyeshwe is 20 kilometers from Guiani and close to the Kruger National Park. It has a population of about 5,500 people. The massive task of uplifting Moeshwe is a multi-departmental effort and the departments referred us to the provincial spokesperson. Moeshwe is the state of the art village now. It's a model uh, people's village and, and, and we, the, the good lessons that we have learned from there. When we started, you know, there was absolutely no hope in the people there. But today, if you go to Moeshwe, people now believe in promises that are made by government. We visited on a weekday when people were expected to be at work, but found many strolling in the dusty streets. We asked them if the promises were kept. Janeth Mabutsa have been living here all her life. Concerning the promises, we don't see anything here in Muyeshe. All we can see is the clinic and the police station that is not getting completed. The road looks like a donga. Things that were supposed to happen here in Muyeshe never happened. There is no money. Another challenge is job opportunities. Sketu Kosa remembers the president's visit. Nothing is happening. When he came here, he gave us promises. When he left, nothing was implemented. We were promised the tar road, but we don't see it. They digged the road, but the construction has stopped. We don't have water. We don't have a road. Putty promises that this will be solved. We have appointed a, a contractor for the road. We have put a 20 million aside. As we are talking now, we have also put a, a big pipeline, you know, uh, with a portable uh, purification plant from Samidem to supply the people of Mesh because nine of their boreholes have been tested and the water is not fit for human consumption. But Janeth insists that it is not true. Residents were all given water tanks for their houses, but they are not connected to any borehole or pipeline. They buy water at two rand a container from self-employed young men with a donkey cart. And she told us about the danger of wild animals. When they are saying we have water, they are telling lies. We don't have water. We fetch water in the bushes. We fear that we might come across lions and elephants in the bushes. That might kill us while we are fetching water. Here in Moeshe, RDP houses and a big and modern clinic were built. The police station is in a RDP house, but a new one is nearing completion. Residents say crimes like housebreaking, rape and even murder has gone down. There is a school, a library, a sports ground without the promised stadium, a computer center which is not functioning, and they're about to build a community hall. All of these are signs of development and progress. So is the number of new houses being built by residents. Apparently they belong to those who work in Gauteng, as there is no work in Moeshe. 
Some women are employed at a brick making business. Some women work at a vegetable garden. Hard work for little money. Some people try to make a living from whatever they can make. Others live on grants. In Moeshe, life is not easy. But there are promises that it will improve. Philip van der Walt, SABC, Moeshe.